Oh. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Yeah. Alright, oh, there's a note here, is it? My notes? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. Warren G. He's such a goofball. <laughs> huh. Okay. Let's take a picture. Okay. Power strip. Why would I turn that off? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Pretty cool. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Should I read this aloud? <laughs> well, basically. Uh. Yeah. So I might have picked the wrong outcome with well maybe there there are no wrong outcomes but the principal doesn't seem to like me now that I was kind of bitchy to him I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country I should have every Bradbury book for myself I don't know that is that a bad thing Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now but yeah. I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Good on you. Me too. <laughs> Let's water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. What? Okay. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I know the feeling. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Huh. I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks. Okay. Great. Now I have to oh. go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I was afraid that was the case. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. What is it? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Dolly? The painter? Was he also a photographer? I don't know. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Let's do it then. I look so pathetic. <laughs> Oh, she actually posted the picture. I am so addicted to this site. Look yeah. at these vintage beauties. Pretty cool. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Uh, Warren G. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Where's the Space Needle? That was a good hockey game and a great fight. <laughs> Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay. What kind of books you have? Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Well, I don't know. Any of the names she's saying, I think. That's pretty bad of me, isn't it? Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, I don't think the greatest. <laughs> I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? No, that's awesome. Care. Music <laughs> inspires me in my photography. Good. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's how it goes. I kind of missed the journal entry about that. I don't know what happened. Well, I moved and she didn't. I don't know. Let's put on some music. Oh, really? Oh, I love this song. So cheesy, but 
It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh. Let's lay down. I'm oh, man, this song. Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or yeah. like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I know Poe. <laughs> I don't want to get up. I want to listen to this song forever. Here in my dorm. Man. <laughs> it makes me feel nostalgic about going to school. Uh, where are we going? Hey, we have to find... Oh. Let's look at some more stuff. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I know Man Ray. Kind of. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Well, not through Jose Gonzalez. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Oh, wow. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. <laughs> Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh. Um. Oh, one more book. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy oh, yeah, of the I've October Country. Checked. Let's go. Uh, I should have pick up every my Bradbury book for myself. Pick up my thingy. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. I need Welcome to go to there. the real drama queens of Blackwell. Julia, this is so stupid. You're in the way. Are you worth? Uh, I need to get in here, right? You are ridiculous. Uh, I probably need hey, to Juliet, talk to her. <laughs> is everything cool? Doesn't look oh, like yes, it. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ooh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last mm. name? Juliet. I don't know. Do, should I know that? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Yeah. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Me neither. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Well, According to Victoria? Exactly. Oh my god. Huh. She saw the sext. And yeah. Zachary do won't answer that? his phone. Come on, man. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. <laughs> Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Come on, man. Leave me alone, Max. Victoria Get a clue. Get a clue. In Victoria's room? Where, uh, let's, uh, and it's open too, isn't that convenient? Um, ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me. Hmm. What do I need? I'm not in too interested in her stuff, because. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list <laughs> after this article. What do I need? What I... Why does she have a missing person poster? Victoria hates Ooh. Rachel Amber this much? Wow. How insecure. Well, maybe I should have been nice to Victoria to get more information. No, Victoria no, no. hates no, Rachel want, Amber this the, much? The book. The book. How the book. insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Oh my god. What's this? Yep. Oh wow. A real groupie. Uh. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? <laughs> Boom. This is go. the email I need to show Juliet. 
Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, let's do it. Oh, well, let's actually read what it says. <laughs> Taylor, uh, that I totally punked Juliet. Yeah, yeah. You see? Why would anyone believe that? Her. Print email. B. Here we go. A printed email. That's that's old school. <laughs> uh, pick it up. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yeah, let's get out of here. And let's not walk in. Oh, she lives right across from me too. That kind of sucks. Okay, Juliet, listen up. Why the hell do you believe Victoria anyway? Juliet, read this. Of course. Thank God she believes me. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Oh Thanks, well. Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thanks. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. These girls dress up quite... Uh, yeah, showing stuff. <laughs> There's that damn flash drive. Pick it up. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> nice. Um. This is both sad and pathetic. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it is. Um, pregnancy test. Ooh, let's look at that. But I don't want to take that it. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Should I take it? Why should I take it? I'm going to take it. Oh, uh, Max, that's <laughs> mine. Thank you. Uh-oh, now I made her mad, didn't You're I? not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Yeah. Let's rewind that. I cannot rewind my kind of Nice, rewind. Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, let's do that. I'm already doing it. Okay. Good. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Cheerleader outfit. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. <laughs> Can we talk to her? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. No problem. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Uh, apparently, I heard a rumor about you. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. Let's just play dumb. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> Turns. Wow, wow, she's pregnant for sure. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. So sometimes I feel like I miss a clue that I do it in the wrong order and I get information that I shouldn't get yet or something. Or like in the wrong order. Dana takes her okay. Blackwell spirit seriously. That's a leaf. I don't know what to do actually. Where do we go? Do I go to my room? I don't think so. Uh, I actually want to see what's what's on the flash drive. Can I see that? Let's try. Yeah, I can. 
I better make sure everything is still in there. Yeah, let's do that. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Party buster. Warren Cheese, incredible film library. Okay. Mm, okay. Are we good? What do I do now? Where do I go now? I gotta meet up with Warren, right? Yeah. Okay. See you there. Let's hurry up, because he's waiting for us. Where do I need to go? Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurts! What happened? Damn! I better rewind. Why? Is he gonna? Fuck this shit! Ow! <laughs> hey, let's talk to him before he does that again. Yes, Zach. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Uh huh, you're funny. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Mm. Poor Juliet. I don't know what to do to prevent this. Here, Alyssa, you stand up. Alyssa, move your head. If you <laughs> insist, Max. Oh. Wow, sick. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Good job. This action... Don't all actions have consequences? Let's look at this... I always pole. get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Okay. Oh, someone's there. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> uh... I don't know. Take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Can I interview now? Oh, he's already gone. What a dick. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh, uh, I make everybody upset. Oh my god. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That but I don't care. If I, if I want to see the other outcomes, I'll play it again or something. <laughs> Let's just go with my guts and... I'll do, uh, yeah, I don't know. On the one hand, I feel like going with my guts and just doing whatever. I think of first. But... There's this rewind function for a reason, so maybe I should use it more often. Maybe I should... Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because the consequences will be later, so I don't... Right away know what the consequences are, so... Man, I should have uh. done something. That guy was an asshole. Sorry. But he didn't do anything. I'm a photo photographer. That, that makes... Now this really pisses <laughs> me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. What was I saying? I don't know. I'm a photographer, so I uh, I take pictures. I don't save people. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. Let's do it. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Let's take a picture. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Okay. Oh, point. Another achievement. There's Warren G. Mm. 
Oh, there's leaflets here. A new surveillance system. Wow. That's how it starts. Big Brother is watching you. Um. Yo, Max, check it out. Sup? And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? <laughs> Look at his license plate. <laughs> uh. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Ah. Thanks. Uh, denied. No problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. <laughs> cool. Poor Very guy. Old school. Uh, I feel really sorry. 1978 to be exact. What? Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. <laughs> You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Whatever, fuck Facebook. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I <laughs> guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah. Okay, so... This far... Like, without my influence, Max has been... friend zoning this guy. Right? That's what I get. the vibe I'm getting. So... But I don't know how how much I like him, so... But I'm gonna go with friend zoning him further. <laughs> no, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Really? Oh, Whoa, I'm so we, sorry. I did browse through all the titles, oh, Drama okay. Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Sounds like fun. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. Not really so my you're sense sensitive. Of Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What? Uh, I don't know. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste oh. and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The mm. right girl will too. Oh. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh. Uh. Mm. Crap. I don't uh. want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. What? You best tell me what you saw. Now! I didn't see anything. Answer me, bitch! Uh... What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people <laughs> for that. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away yeah. from her, dude! Okay. Uh. asshole. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Who's this? Max? Hey. Chloe? What? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Whoa, what Dang, the fuck Max. is happening? Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! I'm really confused now. <laughs> it's a nice bubble hat. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. 
<laughs> After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. So Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> it makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? So, let me get this straight. She was the girl in the bathroom, right? Or am I imagining things now? Do I have such a bad memory? The girl in the bathroom had blue hair too, right? Didn't I see that? Did I just hear the shot? And I didn't recognize it. I don't know. But from what I gathered from the diaries, Chloe was my best friend. When we were younger and she... She... When I moved, she... she well, the... We stopped talking, I guess. Or, you know... When you move, you... <laughs> it's hard to stay in touch. I guess. Or maybe they did stay in touch. I should read the diary more thoroughly, probably. Hopefully I nothing not, after not, today. Not what I wanted to say. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I don't know. Should I read the diary first to see if it sucked hard? I guess. Seattle? The weather's pretty shitty. There's some awesome music history going on there. But, I don't know. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Uh. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Yeah. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think <laughs> I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even oh, a test. Yeah, see. Um... Give me a break. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. <laughs> You're <laughs> merciless. You've uh. been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I wanted to be driving a car in America again. <laughs> I miss driving in America. And especially an old pickup like this, that would be awesome. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, <laughs> haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. <laughs> my stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, Max. Thanks. 